The Boeing EA-18G Growler is an American carrier-based electronic warfare aircraft, a specialized version of the two-seat F-A-18F Super Hornet the EA-18G, replaced the Northrop Grumman EA-6B Prowlers in service with the United States Navy. The Growler's electronic warfare capability is primarily provided by Northrop Grumman. The EA-18G began production in 2007 and entered operational service with the U.S. Navy in late 2009. The U.S. Navy has ordered a total of 57 aircraft to replace its in-service EA-6B Prowlers. The EA-18G was scheduled to finish flight testing in 2008. The Navy planned to buy another approximately 85 aircraft in 2008. The Growler was rated operationally effective and suitable for operational use. Its flight performance is similar to that of the FA-18EF this attribute enables the Growler to perform escort jamming, as well as the traditional standoff jamming mission Growlers are able to accompany FA-18s during all phases of an attack mission. The Growler has more than 90% in common with the standard Super Hornet sharing airframe, Raytheon and APG-79 ESA radar and weapon systems, such as the NA-22 stores management system. Most of the dedicated airborne electronic attack equipment is mounted on a plate in the space that used to house the internal 20mm cannon and on the wingtips nine weapon stations remain free to provide for additional weapons or jamming pods. The added electronics include NALQ-218 wideband receivers on the wingtips and ALQ-99 high and low band tactical jamming pods. The ALQ-218, combined with the ALQ-99 form, a full-spectrum electronic warfare suite that is able to provide detection and jamming against all known surface-to-air threats. However, the current pods may be inadequate against emerging threats. The EA-18G can be fitted with up to five ALQ-99 jamming pods and will typically add two AIM-120 AMRAM or AM-88 HARM missiles. The EA-18G will also use the interference cancellation system that will allow voice communication while jamming enemy communications, a capability not available on the EA-6B. In addition to the radar warning and jamming equipment, the Growler possesses a communications receiver and jamming system that will provide suppression and electronic attack against airborne communication threats. The Growler is the initial platform for the next generation jammer, which uses active electronically scanned array technology to focus jamming power. Exactly where needed Boeing is also looking at exporting a growler light configuration without the jamming pods for electronic awareness rather than electronic attack 3. Growlers network together can generate targeting tracks for hostile radio frequency sources in real time. But this is difficult to arrange with the current minimum strength. U.S. Navy squadrons utilizing faster data links. The Growler could use its U-pods to accurately locate signal sources in a group of three planes. When one detects a signal from a source such as a cell phone, the other two can also listen for the same signal. All three measuring the amount of time taken for transmissions to travel from the source to each aircraft to triangulate the location in a very, very small area. By early 2015, the Navy had demonstrated this concept using EA-18s equipped with Rockwell Collins Tactical Targeting Network technology and ALQ-218 receivers to acquire emissions from a target vessel and target it from a standoff range without using their own detectable radar emissions. On 5 August 2009, EA-18G Growlers completed their first at-sea carrier arrested landing aboard the USS Harry S. Truman. The EA-18G was first used in combat during Operation Odyssey Dawn, enforcing the UN no-fly zone over Libya in 2011. Five EA-18GS were redeployed from Iraq to support operations in Libya in 2011. Australia took delivery of the first of 12 Growlers on 29 July 2015, uniquely. Australian Growlers will be equipped with the NASC-228 Atfler targeting pod and will also have additional air-to-air -air weapons. EA-18 have total nine hardpoints, combined the two wingtip missile launcher rails for AIM-9 Sidewinder, found on the EF Super Hornet, have been replaced with NALQ-218 detection pods, six removable under-wing-mounted hardpoints. Inboard pylons will carry 480 gallons fuel tanks. Midboard pylons will carry NALQ. 
minus 99 high band jamming pods and outboard pylon reserved for AM-88 harm missiles to multi-mode conformal fuselage stations, AIM-120 AMRAM missiles, one centerline fuselage removable hardpoint for NALQ-99 low band jamming pod A single Boeing EA-18G growler is powered by twin F-414 G-400 turbofan engines. Each of these engines is able to generate a thrust of 22,000 pounds that allow for the aircraft to fly at a top speed of 1980 kilometers hand at an altitude of 50,000 feet. As for the combat range of the aircraft, it is well over 850 nautical miles. Growler came not only with electronic warfare systems, but also with weapon system. U.S. Navy continue to invest in advanced Growler capabilities to ensure it continues to protect all strike aircraft during high threat missions for decades to come.